Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the four quadrants of the coordinate plane. Now remember, just as a quick review here, and before we get into the four quadrants, the x-axis is the horizontal axis, so it goes side to side. This is the x-axis right here. Then the y-axis is the vertical axis, so it goes up and down. This is the y-axis right here. The x-axis and y-axis intersect and divide the coordinate plane into four sections, and these sections are called quadrants. Quadrant 1, Quadrant 2, Quadrant 3, and Quadrant 4. Let's label each of these quadrants, starting with Quadrant 1. Now, Quadrant 1 is right here. It's the upper right quadrant, and we name quadrants using Roman numerals. Now, for Quadrant 1, both coordinates are going to be positive. The X coordinates are positive and the Y coordinates are positive. So if both coordinates are positive, then the point will be in quadrant one. So again, for quadrant one, the X coordinates are positive and the Y coordinates are positive. Let's move on to quadrant two, which is the upper left quadrant. So this, is quadrant two right here. For quadrant two, the X coordinates are negative and the Y coordinates are positive. So if the X coordinate is negative and the Y coordinate is positive, then the point will be in quadrant two. So again, if the X coordinate is negative and the Y coordinate is positive, then the point will be in quadrant two. Let's move on to quadrant three, which is the lower left quadrant. So this is quadrant three right here. For quadrant three, the X coordinates and Y coordinates are both negative. So if the X coordinate is negative and the Y coordinate is negative, then the point will be in quadrant three. So again, if both the X coordinate and Y coordinate are negative, then the point will be in quadrant three. Lastly, let's move on to quadrant four, which is the lower right quadrant. So this is quadrant four right here. For quadrant four, the X coordinates are positive and the Y coordinates are negative. So if the X coordinate is positive and the Y coordinate is negative, then the point will be in quadrant four. So again, if the X coordinate is positive and the Y coordinate is negative, then the point will be in quadrant four. So there you have it. There are the four quadrants of the coordinate plane. Now, just for a quick review, for quadrant one, the X coordinates are going to be positive and the Y coordinates are going to be positive. For quadrant two, the X coordinates are going to be negative and the Y coordinates are going to be positive. For quadrant three, the X coordinates are going to be negative and the Y coordinates are going to be negative. For quadrant four, the X coordinates are going to be positive and the Y coordinates are going to be negative. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.